Hey there, viewers. Have you been drinking the proper amount of water lately? Outside of oxygen, water is the most important thing you need to survive. It's easy to lose track of your intake. Health experts suggest drinking eight glasses of water a day. Think that's too much? Well, you need to drink even more as you get older. Why? Let's discuss that in today's video. Do you get dehydrated more as you get older? What other changes happen to your body that make you so thirsty? Wait, will I increase my chances of dying early? We're talking all that and more. Number one, you get dehydrated easier. The older you become, the more prone you are to dehydration. While this seems pretty clear, many people aren't aware of what dehydration really is. Dehydration is when our bodies use up or lose more fluid than we can take in. As a result, we don't have enough water to carry out normal functions. Symptoms of dehydration include dry mouth, extreme thirst, fatigue, dizziness, and dry skin. You may also notice yourself urinating less than usual. When you do actually go to the bathroom, your urine may appear darker than normal. Recent data shows that the average American drinks less than two cups of water per day. This means that a large portion of the U.S. population is living with regular symptoms of dehydration. While this is bad for anyone of any age, it's especially dangerous for the elderly. While this commonly refers to people in their 70s and 80s, it can be anyone over the age of 65. A study from 2015 showed that 37% of elderly people admitted to the emergency room were there due to dehydration. So as you get older, you need to stay on top of your water intake. It's nothing to play around with. Remember a second ago when I mentioned you should have eight glasses of water a day? This has to do with a basic guideline known as the eight by eight rule, meaning eight eight ounce glasses of water. You're probably wondering what the science is behind this. To be honest, there's really very little. It's just a safe amount of water for the average person to drink. What's the longest you've ever gone without drinking water? What did it feel like? Did you experience any of the dehydration signs that I listed? Sound off in the comment section and share your story with the Bestie community. Number two, what happens to your body to make you so thirsty? You know what they say, getting old ain't for the weak. Well, this is what they're talking about. Your body will naturally lose fluid in a number of different ways, not just sweating and urinating, but also bowel movements. And get this, you even lose fluid simply through breathing. The harder you breathe, the more fluids you will lose. The more you're urinating and sweating, the more fluids you'll lose. So how do you keep water in your body? The liquid and minerals in your system will normally control how thirsty you feel and how much water you're losing. When the water in your body goes below a certain level, thirst begins to kick in. When you're thirsty, your body normally sends warning signals to the brain that will tell you to drink more. These are different from dehydration signs. When you need a drink, you'll often feel lightheaded. Your head may also hurt. This is often accompanied by a feeling of dry mouth. There usually isn't any pain or discomfort involved. Most of the time, your brain will simply remind you that you haven't had water in a while. This instinct is actually quite reliable. But here's the difficult part to swallow. The younger you are, the more efficient those warning signs will be. As we get older, your thirst warnings will get weaker. The need to drink more fluids will normally show after the age of 50, especially if you live in warmer climates. When your body gets weaker from thirst, you could pass out. Even mild dehydration can do damage to you. Research has indicated that losing up to 3% of your body weight in water can damage your brain function. Your ability to remember certain details and even speak are also affected. This actually brings me to an important point. Even losing just 1% of body water will change your cognitive function. If you've gone a while without H2O, you may notice that your concentration is off a little bit. This makes it much harder to complete a task. Mild dehydration will also affect your physical performance. An older person who hasn't been getting fluids will find it much harder to move around. A senior who likes to stay active should make it a goal to drink water as much as possible. Before we continue, are you looking to lower your cholesterol level? Well, look no further than your diet. Check out our recent list on 18 foods that can raise your cholesterol to dangerous levels. Now back to our discussion on seniors drinking more water. Number three, it can lower your chances of cancer. As if this was something you realized until now, dehydration in general can increase your risk of death, whether you're young or old. But for elderly people who aren't getting the proper amount of water, it can be a death sentence. For one, studies show that folks who drink water have a lower risk of cancer. As you approach your later years, you can become more vulnerable to cancers such as bowel, breast, lung, and prostate. Getting a good amount of fluids in your system will surely lower your chances of developing this disease. Number four, you're at risk of other conditions. Aside from cancer, there are other conditions that proper hydration can prevent. While they may not be as scary, they are pretty serious. 
Think about all the times you've been constipated. It's a drag, isn't it? Well, this happens more and more as you age. It's quite normal for people over 60 to experience chronic constipation. In fact, it occurs in over 50% of nursing home residents. Increasing your water intake will have you less constipated, making your trips to the bathroom relatively stress-free. Drinking a good amount of water will also protect you from kidney stones. This is another thing older adults need to watch out for. The elderly are at a much greater risk of getting infected from kidney stones. Number five, food can give you water too. Up until now, it may have sounded like I'm telling you to carry a water bottle everywhere. Everybody these days seems to have their own personal bottle of fluids in their hand. Well, newsflash, you don't need to be this dramatic. You do realize there are plenty of foods containing decent amounts of water, right? The most water-rich foods include blueberries, apples, oranges, and Brussels sprouts. As for broccoli, they carry 90% water, not to mention a gold mine of great vitamins. Both cucumbers and tomatoes hold around 95% water. And oh yeah, how about watermelon? That's a pretty obvious one. Not only is watermelon low in sugar and calories, it's over 91% water. On top of that, its vitamin A content will strengthen your immune system, eyesight, and skin quality. Meat, fish, and eggs are also loaded with water. If you're wondering which other drinks keep you hydrated, look no further than tea and coffee. I get it. Most people seem to believe that these drinks have the opposite effect. This is mainly because tea and coffee have been used as diuretics, increasing your urination. As it turns out, the diuretic effects of these drinks are actually fairly weak. So depending on the strength of their bladder, an elderly person is probably able to have some tea and hold it in for a while. Number six, is it possible for me to drink too much water? Yes, it is. Just a rule to go by, if you're not thirsty, try not to drink water. I mean, sure, you'll be going to the bathroom a lot more, but the loss of sodium will bring your body down to an unhealthy level. Low sodium can cause your body to retain as much fluid as it can. This leads to your feet, hands, and lips becoming swollen. Your face might also get a little puffy. Other than that, too much water will probably give you a terrible headache. You'll even experience a little nausea over the course of the day, as well as extreme fatigue. The overconsumption of water can also slow down your brain function, making it harder to concentrate and even think. This is known as water intoxication. So of course, stay hydrated, but do your best to pace yourself and drink responsibly. I bet you never thought you'd hear drink responsibly when it came to drinking water. Have you been skipping out on water? Would you consider drinking more after seeing this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.